Meghan Markle has allegedly been carving out a new lavish lifestyle in California, with locals dubbing her as the Princess of Montecito. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved to California in 2020, following their controversial exit from the royal family. The couple continue to keep a low profile, but have been spotted frequenting lavish restaurants or hitting the hills for a hike. The prince has been known to spend time at the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club, where membership costs over £8,000 a month. But Meghan has reportedly got a lot more going on. A report in Closer magazine reads, Meghan just keeps it very private these days but her royal status gives her a lot of leverage. She spends most of her time in Montecito, but she heads into LA every week or so. The Duchess reportedly enjoys daily hikes with their two dogs, Pool and Guy, saying. The report continues, Meghan loves driving around LA to go to the same hiking trails that she used to visit back in the day, well off the beaten track. Often she'll head off just herself and the dogs, which gives her time to reflect. The former Suits actress has embroiled herself in politics and humanitarian charities, causing a stir following the recent overturning of Roe v. Wade. Following the ruling, the Duchess stated she would join protesters in Washington, demonstrating against the decision. Meghan is also said to be working on her podcast, Archetypes which is due to be unveiled this summer as part of the couple's £21 million agreement with Spotify. Despite moving to an £11 million nine-bedroom mansion in Montecito, Santa Barbara, Meghan reportedly prefers to host business meetings in expensive hotel conference rooms. Following their move to California, the couple befriended Hollywood superstars such as Orlando Bloom, James Corden, and Oprah Winfrey. TV sensation Oprah interviewed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in a damning film, covering topics such as their marriage, motherhood and life in the royal family. The self-proclaimed foodie, Meghan allegedly phones ahead at restaurants to ensure she is provided with a completely secluded table, to avoid extensive interaction with the public. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were recently dubbed as neighbours from hell, again. According to the neighbor, this practice didn't seem to change following the couple's move even though it was no longer formally asked of them. He said that there was another instance wherein Prince Harry was riding his bicycle and he accidentally drove it in between his neighbor and his neighbor's friend. And the source said that the Duke of Sussex never even apologized. Following the incident, the neighbor said that he would have been more forgiving of Prince Harry and Markle if they were a bit nicer and friendlier. But since they're not, He's also one of those people who are, allegedly, condemning the couple. The neighbor claimed that Prince Harry and Markle brought too many problems into their neighborhood. In fact, the once quiet and sleepy town as referred to by Rob Lowe is no longer the same as it once was. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's neighbors have allegedly been fleeing Montecito because they don't want to live close to the couple. A source claimed that a lot of people thought that more people would buy a property in the area because they want to live close to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But to everyone's surprise, the exact opposite was what happened. The way people seem to be in a rush to move away from Harry and Meghan is a real black eye for the couple. It shows that instead of being viewed as classy, they're looking like they're tacky, a source said. The insider also claimed that everything that Prince Harry and Markle have been doing is painting them negatively. So, even the wealthy people that they know don't want anything to do with them. The Duke and Duchess flew back to the UK last month via a private jet, ahead of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Maintaining a low profile during their visit, Meghan and Harry made only one public appearance at the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral. Service of Thanksgiving at